Start. Dear friends, welcome back to the course on mechanical vibration for gate. So last time we kind of discussed about linear single degree of freedom systems and the response I got from the viewers kind of prompted me to this to do this segment of videos uh, for to take this segment of videos further as well. So uh, today what I am planning to do is I won't dive into a new topic. Uh, these are again few concepts here, concept checks I would call. Uh, it's a brief video so we will check or we will kind of look into some key concepts which will help you further down the course. So you, we are, you may, may have heard a lot about linear single degree of freedom systems. So kind of uh, the first point I am trying to emphasize is what does this with linear means? So we all know this function is a linear function, isn't it? We call it linear since y is increasing with respect to x. And in mechanical systems, we generally encounter springs of this kind. So a linear system means you let's say you have an excitation then you have a response so this is your excitation and this this is response in a spring case this excitation will be forced acted upon here and the displacement will be sorry the response will be the displacement of the spring defined as x so if this particular relation is linear like this then the system is called linear. So a mechanical system can be called as linear where whenever this excitation response or the relationship between an excitation and response is linear. So I can give you a few examples, few real life examples. Fuse, the, this is a simple pendulum example. Let's say theta is the displacement I am giving then this is the force mg so the restoring force on this will be sin theta so let's say theta is the theta is the amount by which I am pulling the system or, or I am disturbing the system then mg sin theta is the restoring force and this is your excitation because you are providing on the system and this is the response force. So if theta is small then sine theta will be same as theta. So this case your excitation and response force or restoring force they are not linear but when theta is small your restoring force is linear with respect to the excitation what you are providing. So this is an example for linear system. You may encounter non-linear systems in real life, but we won't cover we won't cover topics uh, related to non-linear vibration and all those things. So this is what the word linear means in short. I hope you got these concepts clearly. Thanks.